Welcome to an update of one of the Solana coins, which is Shadow Coin. This coin was launched recently and was sold heavily upon availability and launch of the coin. So after the dumping, I confirmed today that we have hit bottom. We have a base level for Shadow Token. So those who bought right after launch, usually it's not a good idea. You should never do that. You need to wait until the sell-off concludes, get a clear base before getting involved in those tokens. This is even a token as part of Solana, one of the strongest coins and ecosystems out there in 2024. And we had a lot of dumping, a lot of selling. Therefore, it was not a good idea to buy the token after launch. So we have a clear base here at the level of 40 cents. It is very clear. And now we're trying to get back to above 55 cents, which would confirm this rectangle here. Consolidation period. We allow the MA50 on the four hour chart to come back below the uh, price candles. And now we're facing the resistance of the ME200 on the four hour chart, which is just under 55 cents, just around 51, 52 cents or something like that. So we are trending sideways here between 40 and 55 cents. But as I indicated, the bottom for the coin, you don't, you never know it ahead of time. But in, ca in the case of Shadow Token, on the four hour chart, we clearly see that the level is 40 cents. So on the daily chart, we see this dumpage of coins after launch. So everybody who got airdropped those tokens sold them right away. And this creates an immense selling pressure that you see here. We started at $2.20 and ended up at a base at 40 cents. This happens 99.99% of the time. It's very rare that a coin does not correct. So in this case, for the new users in crypto that are coming into the market, never ever invest in coins that, I, that just got launched. You just have to wait for a base, confirm the base, and then once the token goes above the trading range, then you start looking into the asset. Shadow token is quite looked at, quite interesting with its characteristic. I'm not gonna go over them here, but there's a lot of research that you can find on YouTube. Many people have analyzed this asset, therefore look into those videos. But for me, in this case, we have this 55 level, 55 cent level that we are looking at and even 60 cents as you see here on the daily chart between those prices it would be a breakout and we will have we will need quite a bit of volume to counteract the all these selling but as you see here initially we have a lot of red candles in volume and just recently we got three green candles one after the other and usually in this consolidation period we can see increased spikes in volume that tells you that a lot of people are accumulating the coin at this level obviously if you buy the token near 40 cents this is the maximum potential return that you can get but in my opinion getting it above 60 cents a little above 60 cents would be the safest entry point for shadow token just to make sure that you're not going to get stuck here buying it at 55 and then it goes back to 40 and then come back to 55 gets to 40 we don't know how long this trend will continue so i would wait for a clear breakout or a breakout followed by a correction and support at 60 cents and another huge signal that would be the ideal situation to get into the asset. The timing is perfect for Shadow Token because we are a couple of weeks away from explosion, potential explosion of Bitcoin in Ethereum, and therefore Shadow Token will should pump also. I'm expecting Solana to do very well in 2024, and all coins associated with Solana will perform very well. 
including memes. So keep an eye on Shadow. This could be a potential winner for those who want to invest in something a little more volatile, a little more risky than Solana. And on the weekly chart, we see that huge sell-off that you needed to avoid in order to avoid losing a lot of money. Many people may be bought during that period. It is not a good idea. If you did it once, learn and then don't repeat that error anymore for future tokens. So the basis here, in my opinion, 40 cents is the real base for Shadow Token. Now we just wait for a breakout above that trend line and you can start a position, not financial advice. That's what I would do for Shadow Token. I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe you learned a little bit about newer coins and the launch and when to actually start to get into these assets. Everything is very volatile. Everything is very risky, but you still have to use your logic and past experience to avoid these critical mistakes. See you all on the next video.